we'll see a dramatic showdown as Lyric's trip out of the bay becomes derailed by Cash's ongoing feud with Tim Russell, but now there's a new danger. As Remy and Eden pack their instruments ready to hit the road, Cash heads over, now worried that it's not Tim that Eden needs to worry about, but Narada. However, Eden is already beyond frustrated by her ex fiancés interference in her life, and refuses to listen. I don't want to see you, I don't want to talk to you, I don't want anything to do with you, Eden tells Cash. As Eden walks back inside the house, Remy tries to get Cash to leave, but Cash insists that she could be in danger. Look, just Eden, you need to at least take this seriously, he calls after her, but after all of Cash's interference in recent weeks, neither she nor Remy are interested. With no idea the danger is just around the corner, Remy, Eden, Kirby and Theo then head out of town to the luxurious private estate, ready for a few days of rest, relaxation and rehearsal. Joining along for the ride are band manager Justin, Remy's girlfriend Bree, and of course Tim. Eden and Tim are looking forward to some quality time together, away from Cash and his ongoing obsession with his ex's safety. But it seems that Narada is the real threat, and thanks to Cash's actions, she now knows where to find Tim. Meanwhile, back in Summer Bay, Cash enters the Lyric house to find that it's been trashed, their furniture and belongings strewn across the room, and burn graffitied across the inside of their fridge. As Cash realizes just how much of a danger Narada poses, Will he get to Eden and Tim in time? A photo from the finale shows that Cash will manage to track Tim down, but there's no word on what happens as the two love rivals come head to head. Will Cash manage to explain that he now believes Narada to be the threat before it's too late?